Hey there, this is John Lexo from ProSite Tutorials and in this video I'm going to explain two ways for you to integrate the Facebook plugin inside of your WordPress website. And the first option I'm going to talk about is simply going to their website, to Facebook website, grabbing the coding provided by them and integrated, integrating it inside of your website. The second option I actually decided to mention because I saw that some people are having issues uh, by integrating the Facebook coding inside of their website. For some reason, the Facebook box just doesn't appear inside of their sidebar. If you have issues using the first option, then just jump to option number two because it will most certainly work for you. Okay, so let's start by talking about option number one. So the first thing that you want to do is simply go to Facebook website, to their website. And I'm going to include the link to this web page inside of the description from this video. So you just need to click on it so you can immediately go to this web page. Once you are here, you simply want to scroll down until you see this section. Now the first thing that you want to do is include the Facebook page URL. Usually if you are logged in to Facebook, this will automatically appear, but if for some reason you're not seeing the, the fan page that you want, then you just need to grab the URL. So you do that by simply going to your fan page and just copying it, copying the URL from your fan page. So you just copy it and you just paste it over here. Once that is done, you have a few other options. You can include the width and also the height for this box. And this really depends on the sizes for your website. So let's say width uh, 300 pixels and height, let's say 400 pixels. I'm not actually certain if this will appear well inside of my website, but I'm just going to try it. Also, you have some options which you may want to choose. It allows you to customize this box a little. So use small header. I'm actually going to include this option. Add a cover photo if you want to hide the cover photo. So you can see that you can customize it a bit. And I'm just going to leave it this way. Once you add the box as you like, what you need to do is get the coding for your box. So you just click on this option, on this button, and you can see that you have two pieces of coding. Step number two is this one, and you just want to grab this coding. So you just want to grab this coding, copy it. You want to go back to your WordPress dashboard, and once you are here, you simply go to Appearance, and you choose Editor. So once you choose editor, you will see all of the files that are installed inside of your website. And you want to choose the one that is called header.php, which is exactly this one, header.php. So you just click on it and make sure that you don't delete anything inside of this file because it may actually uh, screw your website. So wh where you want to integrate the coding which I've uh, copied previously is under body, so under body, and I'm going to insert under header. So I'm just going to give a couple of spacing over here, and I'm just going to paste the coding which I copied uh, previously. Now I'm just going to update file, and now let's copy and paste the, the second coding that they provide, which is this one. This is the one that you want to integrate in the sidebar of your website so you can get the Facebook box appearing over there. So once again, I'm going to copy this coding, going back to my website, and under Appearance, I'm going to select Widgets. Now what you want to do is you simply want to grab this text widget. You just want to drag it and just drop it on in this case on my right sidebar but you may also include in another uh, section of your website so once you've done that you want to to include in the blank spacing the coding which you copied previously and just press save 
Once you've done that, you just refresh your website. And you can see that now I have a nice looking box appearing. And for some reason, once again, if this box isn't appearing on your website, you might actually have some kind of issue happening with your theme. Uh, it's just not displaying well this box inside of your website. So just jump to option number two and try it and see if it actually works for you. Okay, so now let's talk about option number two. And I'm going to install a plugin which will allow me to create a Facebook box where all of the news feed will appear inside of my WordPress sidebar. And I typically don't like to install plugins because it, it slows down my website. But I mean, if you don't have any other option, then this option is really good because you can always customize your, your box, your Facebook box a bit more by using this plugin. Okay, so the, for you to install this plugin, just go to your plugin section and add new and you want to search for Facebook so you just search for Facebook and the plugin that you want to install is this first one called custom Facebook feed so just press install now activate the plugin and once you do that you can see that you have a new section appearing called Facebook feed and you want to go immediately to settings once you go to settings you need to get your Facebook page ID so for you to do that you just go to your fan page and you want to go to the URL of your fan page your ID will be just this number that appears inside of your URL so you just want to copy this huge number copy it and just paste it over here in this section once you have that done you have a few options which you can configure below you can per, for example select a number of posts that you want displaying inside of this Facebook box and also the time zone and so on so this is really up to you and I'm, now I'm just going to press save changes. Now what I'm going to do is just grab this coding. Just grab this coding. I'm going to my widget section. And once again what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a test widget. Which I'm just going to drag and drop in my right sidebar. And in this blank area I'm just going to paste the coding which you saw previously. And just press save, refresh my website, and you can see that now I have a feed appearing over here that belongs to my Facebook. Now, with this plugin, as I said previously, you have a few options, uh, and it allows you to pretty much customize this plugin, to customize this box until you have something that uh, fits better inside of your website. So, for you to do that, you just go right on top and you just select the customize section I'm not going in great detail with all of the options that you have over here because it's really a lot but you should just go one by one until you have the box the way that you like so feed width I'm going to choose let's say three, 300 pixels height 400 pixels you can also put some padding some spacing inside of my box if I like let's say 10 pixels feedback run let's put let's put a, a gray and I'm just going to save changes and I'm going to refresh my website so you can see a few changes now, as you can see it doesn't look ideal because I would need to configure this a bit more until I got exactly what I wanted but also you can go to post layout and you can also change a few options this first few options you actually need to upgrade and get their pro version so you can use it so that's really up to you if you want it or not also post style I'm actually going to put over here a background color white and just press save changes I can also change the the found family that I'm using inside of this box 
you just need to go to typography and change the options that you see over here and I'm going to mix because you have a few nice options over here so show the like box if you want to include the like box just check this box and also you can position it instead of being in the bottom as it is now as you can see I'm going to position it in the top section once again you have a few options over here which you may want to choose and I'm just going to say changes refresh my website so you can see the the changes that I've done as you can see this is how my news feed for for Facebook uh, at the moment appears and once again by install this plugin as you can see you can customize a lot more options instead of using the coding provided by Facebook but once again this is a plugin it may be something that you don't want it's really up to you but this is certainly a way to fix the problem if you are having issues by using Facebook coding so that is all for this video I hope you enjoy Please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about SEO, how to make money online, and much more. So stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye!